A Lafayette couple is continuing to fight for their little girl two months after her death. Five years ago, I introduced you to Aniston Bazaar. At six months old, Aniston was diagnosed with Crab A. It's a genetic disorder that affects the nervous system. She lost her battle just a few weeks away from her sixth birthday, but her parents, they're still fighting on her behalf. That's because four years ago, they actually got a law passed that would screen all babies for Crab A, but it's still not happening because state officials say that it'll cost too much to get going. In today's parenting, navigating the journey together, we sit down with Aniston's parents and talk about their continued fight to make Crab A a permanent fixture on newborn screenings. The house is quiet. The hum of machines, little boys running in and out to give their sister hugs and kisses, absent. Because although Aniston wasn't talking, she needed oxygen almost 24 seven. And it was just having that oxygen concentrator constantly running. Um, it, it's hard machine. to, the machines beeping, it's hard to get used to the quietness of uh, you know the everyday life now. Risa and Corey Bazaar knew the day would come, but still vowed to help Aniston live life to the fullest. We gave her the most fun, fun field life we could have. We did anything we could have for her. We traveled as much as we could have. I mean, we really tried to make her well known and just use her story for good instead of for just the tragedy that it could have been. Despite Aniston passing away nearly two months ago, the fight to protect others from the disease continues. But their law mandating the screenings be done for all newborns is in limbo. Louisiana's in the Stone Age whenever it comes to health care. And we were trying to help, you know, just advance us a little bit. Representative Julie Emerson has been working with the bazaars on the project since being elected to District 39. She says every year since 2016, she has gone back time and time again, asking for the money to make the Crab A screenings a reality. Last year, 2019, Emerson says that was the first time she came close to actually getting it. But um, just it's not on the it's not on the nationally recommended list, and they just tend to, to not want to add anything that's not on the national list at this point. Um, so unfortunately, you know, they, they urged the Senate to, uh, to pull that funding and, and not fund it last year. Now they're back to square one. They tell us the state believes it'll cost roughly $700,000 to start the program and 100000 each year to continue it. Full state budgets are out $32 billion every year in the Department of Health budgets around it's about, about 13 or 14 of that, 13 or 14 billion. Um, so $100,000 every year is, um, you know, just based, it's very minimal in the grand scheme of things. So, and, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's very sad because you think about these kids and, and you know, the, the great medical need they have, and the attention they, they need, um, and basically just, just reversing the course for one of them is not only completely life-changing, but again, cost-effective. For Corey and Risa, Aniston's death wasn't the end, it was just the beginning. Both saying they'll continue fighting to help every family impacted by Crab A, present and future, no matter how long that may take. Now we did reach out to the Louisiana Department of Health, the governor's office, the attorney general, and dozens of state senators who approved the measure, but still no concrete answers on if and when the act will be put into place.